Welcome back to my world. Julia Valle is the name, and whatever the game is, I'm in it. <laughs> it's time to see the first part of my chat with Pete Steele from Type on Negative, one of the biggest mesa bands of the moment. He sings songs with titles like Slow, Deep, and Hard. Anyways, here he is. It's important for me because my goal is isolation. Mm. I really don't like people too much. I don't like mm. to be around people. And it's kind of ironic that mm. in this occupation, <laughs> I'm forced at times to make a fool out of myself in front of up to 10,000 people per night. Mm. So, you know, but the road to heaven sometimes leads through hell. Yeah, absolutely. And so I'm doing this, A, because it's, I like to write songs and mm. I like to record them. Mm. And B, it's, um, it's an escape for me. It's, um, it's a way out of it at the end, so I don't have to do it anymore. Mm. And maybe someday I could write music that I really want to write, mm. as opposed to trying to balance what is commercially accessible mm. with, um, with, with my gut instinct. Yeah, so could you see yourself from now, like in the future, writing songs for other people? And just kind of being behind the scenes? I wouldn't mind doing it, but, but my songs are so personal. Mm. that I'm not going to say that only I can, can, ex can execute them, but I would feel more comfortable doing it myself. Mm. And you said y your goal is isolation, so you kind of, did you set yourself kind of a deadline saying, I'm going to do this uh, for the next five well, years? Um, yeah, I'm 35 years old, and I would like to be out of this, you know, before I start looking really old. I mean, I look old you now. No, you don't. You know, I You're mean... You're fit and healthy. Well, so do you. <laughs> you know, rock is for youth, and I don't want to look like somebody's grandfather up there, you know? No, I hear you. You know, coming on stage and, like, you know, crutches with false teeth and then you know, falling down and breaking my hip and the show's over. Everybody gets their money back and I'm broke, you know? I, I want to bow out gracefully. Yeah. You know, I don't uh, want to be one of these bands that perpetually beat a dead horse. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of older bands that all of a sudden have come back into yeah. the scene. I'm like, why? You know, you were great in, you know, 1976. Why don't you just leave it, you know, before you blow it with your next album, which is probably going to suck. Like, you know, you don't want to have, like, a revival after 20 years. No, just, like, no. Get back together and no. do the thing all over. It's like a boxer who, you know, uh, comes out of um, a retirement after 10 mm -hmm. years. You know, he's got the belt on and he's a world champion. And then he gets his, his, his ass kicked, you know, mm -hmm. loses the belt. And, you know, then he's going to be remembered as a loser. Yeah, not true. a winner. So what do you want to be remembered as? What do I want to be remembered as? Um, someone who has helped people through hard times. With their songs? With, yeah, I mean, with, with, your songs? with my songs, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, uh, misery loves company, and I think we're a good company. I did see your spread in Playgirl. You did. And there was quite did, did you um, get oh. the uh, scratch and sniff one? <laughs> or did you just get the regular? Oh, you didn't? There was one like that. Yeah. Wait, I need to show it for the audience for a second. Does it look very good in it, I must say. Thank you very much. Do you see it? <laughs> How did you feel about doing it? Mortified, embarrassed. Mortified. I mean, this is my first so-called modeling job. Mm -hmm. So we got something in common, don't we? Yeah. And to you know, have to take your clothes off and you know walk around naked for mm -hmm. 12 hours was kind of strange, you know, especially when, you know, there's, mm -hmm. there's like a crew of people eat, eat, eating donuts and spilling hot coffee on me, <laughs> Ooh, you know, <laughs> knocking things off the table. <laughs> well, the main problem, well, not really a problem, was when they asked me to do this thing, I told them that my penis would be erect. Because, I mean, trying to look at it from a woman's point of view, mm -hmm. You know, a flaccid penis, you know, looks, looks just like an old mushroom. So, <laughs> I mean, true. wow, that's, that's exciting. I mean, it is more attractive. You know, so, but what did you do then? Did you just go well, to the bathroom and say, excuse me, I'll be right back? Or well, you know, I, t I told them, you know, that I was going to be hard. And, and they're like, oh, do you really think you can do it? I'm like, hey, you bring the check. <laughs> you know, you keep your end up, and I'll keep my end up. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I had some <clears throat> manual assistance at times, <laughs> you know. Mm. Do you, um, did you realize you become kind of a, a gay icon? Because a lot of gay men... You mean, mean a happy it. icon? <laughs> no. I'm a happy person. <laughs> no. um, you know, a lot of gay people read that magazine as well. Yeah. Does it bother you at all? No. 
that they go like, why? Not really. I mean, I think, some walls, I'm getting I think that, you know, whether a, a man or, or a woman finds you attractive mm -hmm. really doesn't matter. I, I take it as a compliment. I mean, mm -hmm. if, if, even though I'm not gay, I can tell when a guy is good looking. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. but it, it doesn't mean that I want to sleep with him. Yeah, I think it's very ignorant of men don't see other, other men's beauty just because they think, oh, no, that's, mm -hmm. that's what girls yeah. And uh, how much do you pay for that? $2,000. $2,000? Mm -hmm. And you just said, uh, but why did you actually do it? For the band. For the band. More than anything else, to sure. attempt to appeal to, uh, to a new audience mm -hmm. uh, or, or to a new fan base. Mm -hmm. You know, hopefully if... To the gay man. Well, if, if, you know, people like what they saw, you know, whether male or female, mm -hmm. maybe they would be so interested that they'd like to hear more. Yeah, And true. then, you know, they would go yeah, out true. and uh, so buy the CD. So it's actually just to bring your message more across, like to, you know, it, for them to listen to your song. It was a calculated career move. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, and it wasn't like, uh, you know, this is like my life's mm -hmm. dream to, you know, mm -hmm. post naked. It's not something, you know, I, I really had to think about it. Yeah, but I mean, you definitely did stand out, and I'm sure a lot of people, you know, are going to go and get your CD. I hope so. That's, <laughs> uh, that's the reason I did it. In uh, a lot of your songs, you write about women, or you have a lot of sexual content in your songs. Yes. Um... Is it something which really... Like, why do you write about it a lot? Do you, are you, like, obsessed with, with women or... I wouldn't say ob obsessed with uh, women or sex. I mean, as, as Mr. Freud said, life is sex. Mm -hmm. So, in other words, if you're not screwing, you're not living. Mm. You know, gotcha. and having five older sisters and five younger nieces, I'm used to being around women. Mm. And I, I prefer their company to men. Mm. I, have, I have no use for men whatsoever. Mm. They're just my competition. Yeah, you're just used to being around women. Yeah, yeah, I think so. So do you have a lot of women friends? Like, actually friends? <clears throat> friends? Me. Or yeah. do you have relationships? Yes. Well, I, I have friends, uh, relationships, you know, this and mm. that. I, I believe I have more female friends than male. Mm. Yeah, I hear you. And um, would you say you get dumped a lot by women? Not any more than any other guy, mm -hmm. I think that I just seem to take it a bit harder Deeper. than I should have. Um, when, when I like somebody, I jump into the, uh, the relationship, you know, a bit too soon, and I, I think maybe I just scared them away. 